Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of What Day Is It Anyway? Just kidding, it's Thursday. It's Thursday today, I hope you're all safe, I hope you're all, I hope you're all home <laughs> and with loved ones. And if you're alone, just remember you're not in this alone. You can always have a virtual happy hour with a friend or get on a call or you know what I mean. Okay, so today I'm gonna show you how to make a mojito. Super simple, very refreshing, and um, it's not as complicated this is what I just recently learned as they will make it seem sometimes when you order one when you're out. Okay, so of course we need fresh mint. I picked this from our garden and I've already put about nine leaves in there. Now, with this, I am going to add some simple syrup. Simple syrup is just sugar water. It's two parts sugar to one part water, I believe. Yes, I believe it's two parts sugar to one part water if you're gonna make it at home. I, okay, I am actually, okay, so I keep saying that this is two ounces. It's between like one and a half and two. So let's just say I'm going to fill this little shot glass up to the middle. I'm gonna put it in there. I am going to get the rum. I'm actually going to put in a full glass and then I'm gonna put in Another half a glass. There we go. Now, one of the great things about a mojito is besides the mint and how refreshing it is, is the lime. I highly recommend using um, fresh lime. There's just a completely different taste and consistency to it. Oh, this is from the last drink I was making. Sorry. <laughs> There's a, just a completely different consistency and acidity to it than like, you know, prepackaged lime juice. And as soon as you squeeze this, you could smell all the oils, and it's just, it's so much better. The real thing is so much better than the bottled stuff. So there's that. I like my drinks, very sour. So I'm gonna put in the other half. There we go. And you pretty much have all of your ingredients in here now. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I know you've been to bars and you've seen the bartenders grab a bunch of the, these mint leaves and they're like beating the crap out of them, right? No. Be gentle with the mint. The mint didn't do anything to you. The mint didn't ghost you. The mint didn't run off with all your money. The mint is good. The mint is nice. The mint is your friend. So massage it. Massage it slowly. Also because you don't want any of that green chlorophyll, any of that coloring going into the drink. It looks weird. So that's it. You're just slowly massaging it. Slowly massaging it. All right. It's been massaged. All right, so I am gonna use one of these glasses and actually hold on because I need my trusty stirrer. Okay, so I'm going to put this directly into the glass, okay? There we go. Let's get all that fresh minty goodness in there. There we go. And then I'm going to fill this to the top with ice, okay? There we go. As much ice as I can get in there, perfect. I'm gonna use this stir to stir. And I'm gonna try and get some of the mint up here. I mean, that already looks so pretty and so refreshing, right? Okay, and to top it off, you want to get a little sprig of the mint, right? Now, I know there's like this thing that bartenders do with their hand to like release the oils, but I'm not there yet because, you know, I'm not a bartender. I'm just like, you know, a bored housewife. <laughs> so here you go. And the really cool thing is every time you put it up to your nose, you could smell the mint. Let's taste. Oh, that's so good. It's so good. It's super light and refreshing. And by the way, if you want to make a non-alcoholic version of this, instead of the rum, add sparkling water. All the other um, ingredients are the same. Super simple and super refreshing, right? All right. Well, enjoy this by yourself with whoever you're quarantining with. And I will see you again very soon. There you go.